And you're very welcome back to Northwest Today. It is Wednesday morning and that means that we are joined in studio by Gabriel McSharry, medical herbalist and uh, nutritionist. Good morning, Gabriel. Good morning, Margaret. Now, on the programme this morning, we are going to be talking about um, SADS, which is known as seasonal affective. Seasonal affective disorder. So basically, uh, I suppose a nickname for it is the winter blues Um but it's uh, or winter depression but seasonal affective disorder is associated with um, winter depression and a feeling of normal or very happy in the summer um, uh, although there's many variables uh, maybe responsible for uh, sad uh, lack of exposure to um, full spectrum natural light appears to be the most logical where um, you know, in in the, in the summer months, uh, the days are very long, mm-hmm. uh, and in in the winter months, they're very short. So there's an obvious lack of light. Uh, so is the, this is different from people who suffer from, we'll say, postnatal depression or from depression. You know, all year long, is it? People who suffer from depression generally, they'll find uh, uh, the depression will be worse in the winter, and um, that's commonly reported. Um, But there's a certain section of the population where um, they only feel kind of down or mildly depressed in winter. And that would be more so or fits the category of seasonal affective disorder. And, um, you know, when the hour changes, it changed recently. um, uh, Obviously, there's less light and... Mm -hmm. um, um, so even from the point of view of getting yourself sort of um, built up to, to go out for a walk or to, you know, go out and maybe meet the neighbours out in the estate or, or wherever you are, that sort of changes with, with, with the weather where you, where you suppose you become lazy and don't want to be as active as you, as you ex- would be. Exactly. You wouldn't go out as much. I mean, especially if it's teeming rain from morning to evening. Mm. Uh, or if you just, for instance, work a nine to five in Ireland or, or in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, there's a period of a few months where you go into work, it's dark. Uh, you come out of work, it's dark. Mm-hmm. Um, and that goes on, that continues. So unless you really got out at lunchtime and, and exposed yourself to natural light, you really don't get much natural light. So we're in under artificial light for mm-hmm. a period of months. And uh, that has quite a big impact on health and mood. Mm. And, and th- um, yeah, that, that would be for, I suppose, people who work maybe from half seven, eight in the morning and they don't leave their office or shop or whatever it is until five, half five in the evening. So you're actually going to work in the dark and you're coming home in the dark. So you're not seeing any daylight unless you pop out at lunchtime and then that's restricted as to, definitely, you know, yeah. the length of time. So for people who suffer from it what kind of treatment or, or what there's a number of uh, herbal medicines that um, can work very well and there's ones that have uh, quite a bit of research done on them for this condition um, uh, I'll mention a few of them uh, one is ginkgo biloba and, and a medical herbalist will use a standardised extract of the leaf of this herb and um, uh, it should be taken for about six weeks or so before the effectiveness can be uh, assessed. But um, it's shown in clinical trials to significantly improve uh, people with depression, fatigue and anger. Um, it's high in antioxidants, um, effective in the prevention of dementia and improves memory, concentration and circulation to the brain. And it's quite a powerful herb that has some literature on it to show effectiveness in treating SADS. Um, Another herb, uh, St. John's wort or Hypericum perforatum. Um, it's it's the king of herbal antidepressants. Um, so we use the flowers, and this uh, is a very popular herb worldwide. It's it comprises of 25% of all antidepressant prescriptions in Germany made by doctors. So mm-hmm. it's very widely used in in conventional medicine in in Germany. Um, and it's shown in clinical trials to be uh, as equally effective as, as the antidepressant drug uh, Prozac um, without the undesirable side effects, um, which can be muscular weakness, insomnia, sexual dysfunction and drowsiness. Uh, so people in trials, people suffering from SADS uh, have shown significant improvement in eight weeks using St. John's wort. Um, 
and there's other herbs one with anea somnifera um, an indian herb uh, so we use the root and it was shown in studies to be comparable to an antidepressant drug uh, tonafril um, and it's effective in treating anxiety depression enhances memory and attenuates the negative effects of chronic stress and uh, it improves seasonal affective disorder. Um, so there's, I suppose, three herbs that have uh, the most research done on them. There is many more I'd have in the, uh, in the dispensary, but mm. they're the most common ones I'd use in the winter for people, just as a maintenance whose mood falls and so mm. on. And would, would it be sort of a wide range in age group that would, that would suffer from it? Yeah, well, it's mainly women. Um, so uh, the research shows to date um, that... Uh, it has a prevalence of 10.5% of the population of Ireland uh, and that females of reproductive age uh, tend to supply the higher number of incidences. Uh, so this suggests that uh, it's a serious condition, in my mm -hmm. opinion, and um, it's something that uh, people can... T uh, there's, there's a number of things people can do to um, reduce it, you know. Uh, it doesn't have to be there, you know, in most people. Um, so uh, there are a few uh, herbs I've mentioned. There is some um, lifestyle... Uh, Changes. Uh, ...recommendations and stuff that also improve it, and I can list a few of them. I will mm -hmm. say, though, uh, about ginkgo biloba and, and hypericum perforatum or St. John's wort... Um, uh, people are unable to get them over the counter here in, in, in the Republic of Ireland anymore but um, me as a medical herbalist I can prescribe them and um, you can get them under prescription from your GP um, so a number of lifestyle recommendations um, one is physical exercise uh, probably in my opinion uh, the most effective natural treatment for all forms of depression uh, without doubt physical exercise is key mm -hmm. and, and does that get out there and have your walk yeah. if you so if you walk during it, the summer continue yeah. it during the winter think about it you, you do a, you're, everyone's a lot more active they feel better in the summer yeah the days are longer more light but you're also out you know and mm -hmm. you're out and about and you're doing a lot more exercise than you would in, in the winter months just by default you mm. know, just and I suppose it's the fact that you don't have time to sit at home and feel sorry for yourself and you know that you're out and you're meeting people you're talking and you know possibly that would be an aspect to it I, I'm sure definitely but um, there is people however who do the, the, the normal things they work in the same place all throughout the year and um, they, they do uh, feel that their mood goes down and they're still maybe meeting the same amount of people but um I don't know, summer is a much happier time. I it think is. it's definitely the people are more active, mm. uh, more conducive to, uh, you feel like just getting and get, mm. uh, getting up. And yeah, getting I suppose out. you're more inclined to become a couch potato in the winter. You think about it, now I don't watch much TV, I don't have one anymore, but uh, all the best TV shows are on the winter, and that's because it's really getting at um, uh, the larger population, you know, whereas in the summer it's very hard for the TV rankings to, to grade who's watching it or not because we're out and about so much so uh, people tend to watch a lot of TV become a couch potato but I you know personally I lived in Sydney in Australia for five years and it's just brilliant what a brilliant climate and you mm. just feel like getting up and out all all, all year round really mm. and you just feel better and um, so we have to make good of what we have here yeah, which I is we have, well I know personally when I came back I said I'd, I'd maintain the kind of lifestyle and um, I really need to, to adapt to the, the to the climate and that's by I think getting a pair of waterproofing uh, trousers you know and, mm. and um, well, get all the waterproofs and uh, get good waterproof footwear and force yourself to get up and just go for a 30 minute walk or a 60 minute walk even if it's team and rain just go and do it you'll come in it might feel a bit weird but you, you'll feel a lot better after it trust me and um, it'll clear your head even if you've had a stressful day at work or at home and definitely. you know so a lot of people uh, can go to the gym and so on I think getting out for uh, as I say a 30 60 minute walk outdoors in the fresh air and mm -hmm. get some natural light is, is 10 times better yeah I suppose if, if you're in all day and you're in a working environment and you aren't outside or whatever and you're in for about 8 or 9 hours and then you're straight home and you're not getting fresh air then exactly. obviously fresh air is, is what, what you oh, need into your lungs and people will find that they could get home and they're wrecked they just don't feel like doing anything but if mm. you get out and go for a walk 
uh, believe me, you come back and you'll feel recharged. Mm. Uh, and I think it's, it's a good idea as well to have someone that'll actually go walk in with you, your neighbour or friend or whatever, because yeah. you're too lazy then when you don't have a walking know, partner. It's very easy to get lazy. And I would be very guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely, uh, it's great to, to do everything in numbers and, and one encourages the other and so on. Or even if you have a dog, you'd be inclined to, right, I'll have to walk him uh, Absolutely. and so on. Um, so physical exercise without doubt uh, brilliant here um, also a good quality cod liver oil um, uh, you know a traditional uh, uh, supplement and the reason it's really good is it's high in vitamin D and um, vitamin A and the omega 3 fatty acids so both are essential for a healthy nervous system and you can take uh, up to two tablespoons a day if you want in the winter, winter months vitamin D I mentioned is, is very important um, and it's a supplement can be that can be uh, very good in, in during the winter, and it's shown like the more and more research coming out about vitamin D, it shows uh, specifically in Ireland or North America and so on that we're um, largely insufficient or deficient. Um, so it could be rife actually uh, insufficiency or deficiency. And uh, I know the FSAI uh, in Ireland just published some research recently about um, women and girls. Um, and it was up to maybe one and two could be deficient in vitamin D. Mm-hmm. Vitamin D is so important to mood, uh, also immunity. You know, this is why, um, in my opinion, it's why the flu season uh, arrives in winter as well. Uh, again, you're not getting enough uh, daylight, exercise, and sunlight, and the immune system goes down. And um, so, vitamin D very important, um, and light just in general. Because if you think about it, if we're inside all the time, the bulbs in, in inside. They're not uh, full spectrum light. They're mm-hmm. um, I forget now what type of light it is, but it's artificial light. Uh, and spend all your time in artificial light is really poor for the body and the health. So just get out and get some daylight and natural light um, uh, as much as possible in mm-hmm. the winter months. So the best thing really is to to get out and about there. And again, you know, get if if you need to get something. Ha- get something but try and, and uh, not change your lifestyle if you are out and about during the summer and you go out for your walk or jog or whatever it is then keep it up yeah, and obviously there's some sports activities that aren't maybe possible in the winter months but um, you know, definitely do some sort of exercise as I say a 30-60 minute walk doesn't have to be really aggressive or anything it's just get out and about get fresh air get the body moving get the circulation moving and get the blood flow moving and um, you feel a lot better for it you know you'll have a better appetite Mm -hmm. um, and turn off the telly yeah (laughs) turn off the telly okay Gabriel McSharry medical herbalist and and indeed nutritionist thanks for joining us on the program Uh, but of course you're back with us again next week and we'll deal with all of the questions um, that have come in to us definitely yeah Ocean FM Northwest